Hello, Geminis. The last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that some of you are just feeling like quitting right now, like you're just exhausted. It could be with love, with money, with, you know, all of the above. Um, but now is not the time to quit because you have some major energy shifts that are happening f for you this year. Like you're, you're, this is like your breakthrough year. It really is. I feel um, energy shifts with love, with finances, career, whatever you've been trying to manifest. I feel like there's just a lot of life changes that are going to be that have been and are going to be coming in for you this year. So it's not the time to quit. You got anger and miscommunication, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, a uh, sense of belonging, home, safe space. Make your move, green light. Okay, what else? Pause, reflection, rest. Clubs, parties, social life. Maybe someone needs to go out and have fun. We'll see what all the... Let's see what the story is once we put all the cards down. Trapped, blocked, tied up. Spying. That's interesting. What next? Dreams, visions, telepathy. Okay. Interesting. Let me straighten that for you guys. Or straighten that out for you guys. There we go. That's a little bit better. So I'm getting here. I feel like there's some kind of anger or miscommunication and it's like caused someone to overthink, overanalyze, self-sabotage. But it feels like there was like a portal opened or there's some kind of opening here because we've got a sense of belonging, home, safe space. Like someone decided to make a move towards you or unless you made a move towards someone else, but I'm getting most likely it was them deciding to make a move towards you. They had the green light. You know, they'd been over, they'd been in this energy where they were kind of overthinking it, maybe going back and forth a little bit, might have been some miscommunication there, but something shifted or something made them want to try again. But then it's like really back and forth energy because then it seems like they pause, like pause, reflection, rest. And I feel like either you or them has an addiction that's causing the other person to kind of pause and not be so sure about this. Or it could be like other people, like family or friends separating you two. Um, just something with, with clubs or parties or social social life, like friends, family, other people. Um, it seems like some kind of energy here stopped someone in their tracks and made them sort of rethink things is what the feeling that I'm getting from this. Because it kind of seemed like someone was in their head, like they were upset, like they were, maybe they were mad, they were miscommunicating with you, they weren't sure how you were feeling. There's just a lot of uncertainty, but it seems like they made the decision to go ahead and go forward because they feel at home with you. They feel like that's, you know, their safe space with you. But then it seems like someone was just stopped in their tracks, either you or them. Because whatever this energy is that's tied to clubs, parties, social life, again, you know, friends, family, rumors, gossip, um, addictions possibly, um, you know, ego, ego issues, that kind of thing is kind of keeping this connection trapped. And so it's almost like it's very back and forth where it seems like this person starts thinking, oh, I'm going to come forward, but then they just... They just don't, they might also have some addiction or some partying that they're going through. Like they might think, you know what, like I'm ready for a relationship. I'm going to do this. And they make the plans, you know, to reach out. Like they, they feel at home with you. And then maybe they're, you know, it could be, I feel like it could be the other person's addiction, but also could be their own addiction. It could be that they're in this energy of like partying or addiction or friends or family, keeping them away from you or whatever it might be. Um, whatever it is, it's like they were coming for it and then something just stopped them in their tracks and kind of kept them like trapped, blocked, tied up. So now it seems like they're resorting to just like spying on you, um, spying dreams, visions, telepathy. It's like there's still a very strong psychic connection there. Just kind of seems like they're kind of just watching you from afar. 
right now. Um, it's interesting. I wonder what, I'm going to look into what happened a little bit here because it really does seem like they were in that energy where they were overthinking and then they were like, they made a decision like, this is my home, like, I'm going to come forward. I don't know what happened. Like, maybe they decided they weren't ready for a relationship. They're like, they're not quite yet. Like, maybe they're like, okay, I need to, like, they started partying or they might have an addiction where they're like, okay, wait a minute, I want to come forward, but maybe I. I don't know if I can yet, or maybe there's like a rumor or some kind of jealous people around you or something. I'm going to see what the cards say. If this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth and, and look into what your, what your specific person is feeling and wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is right below this video in the description box. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um... You could just copy and paste it. Just look for it below. And any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly. All my donation links are below too. So I thank you guys for that. And uh, please subscribe if it resonates. So we got Adventure Honeymoon Vacation. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Some of them are wanting to surprise you with a vacation. So some of them... I feel like some of them want to come back into your life, but they're just battling an addiction or they're still wanting to party or they're still like, there's like a sense of pride and like ego too, possibly like maybe they were wrong. Maybe you guys had an argument and they were wrong and they want to apologize, but they're, they've got too much pride to apologize. Um, cause I also, I mean, like I said, this could be rumors like family, friends, separating you clubs, partying, addiction, um, social life but I could also see it like considering the energy here like someone who's kind of almost like like confident but almost cocky here um, like like a diva type male or female that just like maybe is in the wrong but they don't want to admit that they're in the wrong like they don't want to apologize they even though they know they should um, it just seems like they were like about to make a move and something just stopped them. They're just like in that energy still. I feel like some of them are planning a vacation with you or they're planning on some kind of like giving you a present, um, like roses or something, or they're planning on taking you somewhere. Like they're wanting that adventure with you. They want a new start with you. If this is someone that you're currently with, it could be also that they're feeling like you guys need to to go explore the world more. You need to travel because maybe you're stuck in the same old, same old routine, same cycle. Or even if you're not together right now, like if this is an ex, maybe they're thinking, you know, like, oh, a new start, like an adventure, honeymoon, you know, traveling someone together, somewhere together. They're thinking that would be really good for you to Maybe it would um, rekindle that spark, you know, bring that passion, and that romance back. It seems like they're really thinking about this, like how to come in properly. Because they want to choose their words wisely. They want to plan their approach because they want you to be weak-willed and submissive to their energy when they come in. So that's why I kind of think they're... Um, I don't want to say love bombing because it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel too toxic for me from I mean from what I'm feeling I'm not getting a very toxic feeling I'm getting more like they just really want to do it right like they want to surprise you with something I'm getting like they want to give you a present like they want to give you like um some of you might get be getting engaged um, maybe going out of town and getting engaged or uh, getting like a promise ring or you know, some kind of, some kind of romantic letter or romantic offer, or commitment, something, something to kind of sweep you off, off your feet. Like if you look at this energy here, cause it's like, look, they're choosing their words wisely. They're planning their approach out. They're not just coming in really hasty They're They're really thinking about how to do this right. They're thinking about what to say, what to do, how to act, where they could take you, how they could impress you. Um, You know, and, and it makes sense. Like if they're, if you know, if you guys were having problems before, maybe they're thinking like, you know, let's, if we, if we travel together, it's like, it's fun and exciting. It's something new. And they just, they want you to be submissive to this energy. So they're really trying to, trying to do it right. So that you, you know, whether you guys are together or not, whatever the situation is, they just, when they message, when they reach out, it's like, they want you to 
kind of be submissive to that. They want to be, you know, they want, they want to be able to say like, oh, like, can we go on vacation together? Can, like, I got you this promise ring or like, you know, a long romantic letter or something of that sort. Like they really, they don't want you to be able to say no to them, I think is the issue. I kind of feel like they're, that might have been part of what stopped them before. Maybe they were kind of afraid that you would say no to them. And so they're trying to rethink things. They're like, okay, wait, like, I can't just say, hey, how you doing after, you know, after, you know, months of not talking or, you know, I can't say, you know, hey, what's what's up? Like, and pick up where we left off if you guys just got in an argument. Like, they're kind of in that energy where they, they know they need to to do something kind of like a grand romantic gesture is the kind of the energy. Something drastic is what they're wanting to do, um, whatever the situation might be with you guys. So I think that's part of what's stopping them is they're like they're trying to have a really good offer for you when you come when they come in. Some of them might be looking into traveling with you. They might be they might be going to you. Like if you guys live in different states or cities, they might be thinking about like coming to your door and surprising you or buying you a plane ticket, or they might just be thinking about going on vacation with you. Because maybe, maybe if, you know, they're in the doghouse right now or something, like, if you're mad at them, or you guys haven't talked for a while, maybe they're thinking like, oh, like, hey, I got these, you know, plane tickets to Mexico or something like that, where it's like, some kind of surprise or vacation or something like maybe they think that will like, freshen things up a little bit you know they just they want to do it right so they're they're trying to trying to make an make an offer you can't say no to they're trying to do something so almost playing on your romantic side in a way but I mean it seems like they have intentions of following through so I guess it's not too horrible but it, it kind of seems like like yeah they're trying to they're trying to you know just make sure that you're submissive to this they're trying to make sure that you that they give you something intense enough that you can't get mad or say no or reject them. <clears throat> like I said, some of them might be pausing too because of rumors or because of their own addictions. Um, this, Because whatever this energy is, it feels like it's maybe keeping them trapped. So it's like they're spying and they're watching you and they're planning their approach. And the psychic connection is strong right now. But whatever this energy is, they need to figure that out. So it seems like it's keeping them tied up. It seems like it's blocking them. So it's like in the meantime, while they figure this out, they're also trying to figure out what to say. Hidden truth. Hesitation, mixed feelings. X, the past. There could be some drama going on with the with an ex from their past as well that's causing them to hesitate. That might be their hidden truth for some of them. It might be feeling mixed feelings for an ex. It might not be like romantic necessarily. It might just be that there's some hesitation because there might be some karmic energy here or something that needs to be wrapped up, if that makes sense. Yeah, maybe manipulation, deception, beauty, mystery, enchantment. They might be being manipulated by someone that they need to kind of clear themselves from. I think they are. Fast-moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yes, yeah, some of them, like the addiction might have been a karmic or it might have been a karmic was trying to separate you two for some of you. And now they're wanting to come back in and like you're pulling them back in. You know what I mean? Like maybe whatever this energy was, like whatever this could be an addiction and a person, some kind of third party energy here that was like kind of deceiving them. And like I said, this could like it could be an addiction. I mean, not, it might not be a person. It might be like they've been drinking a lot or something of that sort. It could be, you know, it could be a number of things. But um, and they were kind of like, you know, enchanted by that energy, like they were seduced by that energy. And, but it seems like there's a sudden turn of events where they're coming out of this quickly. Like they learned a karmic lesson and this karmic cycle is wrapping up for them. And it seems like you're pulling them in. Like they're wanting to get to know you better again. They're wanting to start over with you. They're wanting to, to come into this, you know, maybe take it slow too. Yeah. Like you're kind of, 
Let's see, dominant, control, fear of commitment. Some of them might be might seem like they're afraid of commitment, but really they're afraid like their pride is at stake, kind of. They're afraid of being wrong. They're afraid of admitting that they were wrong if you guys got in an argument. They're afraid of being rejected. They're afraid of you not accepting them. They're afraid of you not accepting this hidden truth about them. They're afraid of whatever this addiction or this energy might be. They're afraid of maybe the rumors being true, whatever it might be. It's been keeping them tied up. Um it's like it seems like a fear of commitment, but really deep down, it's a fear of getting hurt, of being humiliated, being rejected, like a shyness. Um, but it feels like you're becoming the dominant one in this connection, like you're you're pulling them back into you. They've been stagnant, but it feels like they're coming out of that. Yeah, like that passion and romance is coming back to life here. There still might be some kind of addiction that's created issue. Yeah, there could be an addiction that they have with like a karmic or something. Like we got betrayal, jealousy, conflict. So whatever this codependency and addiction is with a third party. And again, for some of you, this is a person. This is a like a karmic. For some, this is like a, you know, partying. It could be a number of things. And it's created conflict. What's the solution to this? Feels like you're... Like you're winning this battle though, like the passion, the romance is with you. Confusion, uncertainty, vulnerability. Seems like ultimately they are deciding to be vulnerable with you because the, the feelings are mutual with you, it feels like. Um, any final words on this? And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email address is right below in the description box. So just copy copy and paste my email. Send me an email. I can give you a private reading. Um, any donations are appreciated. And please resonate if, or please, oh my gosh, please subscribe if it resonates. Um, true love, potential life partner. So courage, assertiveness, forward movement. So they're going towards their potential life partner, which I would assume would be you, unless unless the other person's their life partner and you're a karmic that it's wrapping up. But I think for most of you, it seems like you're the life partner and the other person's probably the karmic and they're probably coming forward to you. Kind of feels like maybe they just got themselves in like a mess with the karmic, like more... The karmic might have something on them that they're holding on them. Like maybe the karmic was like trying to win them back or something. And for those of you, like I said, this could be, there's a couple different stories here. For some of you, there's not a third person. For some of you, it's it's not a third person. It's just like, a, a, you know, drugs, alcohol, a partying, um, you know, family, friends, separating you guys, whatever it might be. Just some kind of block that they need to get through, like a karmic block that they're resolving now finally. For some, though, for those of you that like this wasn't a third, the third party was an actual person, I kind of feel like maybe the karmic is like jealous of you and like maybe the karmic had something on them. Like maybe they um, were trying to win your person back and the karmic, like maybe your person was kind of like, no, like, I, like not having it. Like they're not, you know, like maybe like it was a mistake to get too close to the karmic and they're kind of like trying to pull away and the karmic might be like, well, I'm going to screenshot, you know, I'm going to screenshot you the the text of you saying you're coming over or something and like take it out of context. You know what I mean? Like maybe the karmic messaged her person was like, hey, like I'm feeling really sad. Like I just I need an old friend to talk to. Um, or they might have said, like, let's go out somewhere. But like just like as friends, like your person was like trying to go be a supportive friend and like not have it be romantic but maybe the karmic tried to get back with them and now the karmic is holding something over their head. Like the karmic might be saying like, Hey, like get back with, get back together with me. Like they, I, I feel like the karmic got rejected and I think the karmic is pissed off. That's the energy I'm getting here. So I kind of feel like maybe, maybe they tried to, your person tried to go be, hang out with the karmic or talk to the karmic or something as like friends or like being supportive of them or they're trying to, or if they're in a relationship with the karmic, it's like they're trying to get out of it, but the karmic is holding something over their head, like very aggressive and competitive and like not letting them go so easily. 
Um, or if they're not with the karmic, it's like the karmic, like they're trying to be friends with the karmic, trying to be supportive. And like, they were kind of seduced into going to see the karmic maybe. And like, now the karmic is like threatening to like send you screenshots, like taken out of context. Like, look, your, your person like came and saw me, like they came and met me. But the truth is like your person went and met them to support them as a friend because they were like manipulated into it but there wasn't they weren't trying to do it romantically but the karmic was like trying thinking that once they got them there in person they could seduce them into having a relationship with them, them again um and it didn't work and now the karmic's pissed for some of you and that's not everyone's story but for a few of you that's that's the story here and you'll probably know if that's the story like that's probably going to resonate with you if it's the story you know yeah the karmic's toxic yeah, the karmic's been waiting and hoping and praying for, like, a love offer from your person and trying to seduce them through sex or seduction or just trying to pull them back in. And I feel like I just get the energy that, like, something happened where your your person's just like, no, like, uh-uh. Like, like, your person, like, they might have, like, they're really manipulative. So I feel like you're, like, they might have said, like, hey, like, I really need you to come over now. Like, I think... I think someone is, you know, uh, stalking me or I'm like really depressed or like, I really, I just need like a friend here. Like they did something to like get your person to be face to face with them physically. Like they manipulated it. And then when your person got there, they just like, they try, like it shifted and, and the karmic was like trying to get them back. And your person's like, no, that's not why I came over. I came over to make sure you were safe. Right. Came over to be a friend you know what I mean so it's like your person is not in the wrong I don't think your person I mean each story is different but I'm not getting that your person was like trying to cheat or anything like that I'm getting that the karmic like messed with their head and you know they wanted to be doing they wanted to do the right thing maybe the karmic doesn't have anyone else in their life so like they felt bad they felt kind of guilty they're like okay I should probably go over there make sure the karmic safe, make sure, you know, things are good. And then when they got there, it was like not what they thought it was going to be. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see all these cards buried under here. What did we get originally? I'm trying to see how it all plays out together here. That might have been the pause for some of you is like, yeah, some of them, some like oh this is a this is an interesting story okay so because like like I said the pause and the reflection rest that whatever this energy is that separated them separated you guys for some of you I feel like your person was actually coming close to making a move on you like coming close like deciding that their home is with you the feelings are mutual like coming back around and this could be like you guys are together but you got in an argument and they're thinking about like reaching out or they're you know making things better or you guys haven't talked for a while and they're just thinking like coming forward and the karmic might be what made them pause and step back because remember I was getting like it could be like a person that caused this block and created these issues and that kind of makes sense now like trapped block tied up like these red cords are co still connecting the karmic to your person. That could be creating issues. So it could be like your person was coming close to making a move on you. And then the karmic just halted that. Like the karmic was like, like, oh, come over. I, I don't feel safe or I'm upset or something. And then like your person went over there and the conversation between them got manipulative, argumentative. Um... And the karmic might be threatening them, might straight up be threatening them to not talk to you. The karmic might be saying like, like, oh, I'm going to send them screenshots. I'm going to show them that you came over here. Like, you know, like they're trying to, it's like a crazy energy because it's like your person does not want the karmic anymore, but it feels like the karmic is not like not willing to let go. Like the karmic is like, if I can't have you, no one can have you kind of energy. Like they're just... It's creepy and weird because it's almost like forced. It's like very forceful. It's like they're not even the karmic's not even like trying to make them fall in love with them again. They're just straight up like you're going to be with me like you have to be with me. Like like if they have kids, they're like you have to be with me or you can't see your kids. Or like you have to stop talking to the, the other person or like I'm going to I'm going to, you know, show people these screenshots. Some of them have screenshots that they, they threatening to show you or threatening to show someone else. 
Like, some of them are literally being, like, held hostage and not allowed to talk to you and they want to talk to you. Like, some of them literally, like, chose you and the karmic was, like, just not... So if you're in a situation, like, where you've been competitive with the karmic, like, you just, like, you and the karmic hate each other, um, they might... Part of it might be just be that they're not willing to lose to you. Like, it's, like, a pride ego thing. Like, they're just straight up, like, not willing to lose the your the person to you you know what I mean like the person like they made a choice like that they, they want you and the karmic just does not want the embarrassment they don't want to be wrong they don't want to they don't want to have the person they don't want to have their person like you know choosing you over them like you know especially if you, if you guys hate each other that makes sense I mean it doesn't make sense it's not okay I'm not saying it's okay I'm just saying like that energy I understand that energy now looking at it so so yeah for some of them it's like your person was like, I'm going to like choosing you. Like, I'm going to go be like, they said, like, I'm going to go be with you. Like, I'm going to go make things right. Or maybe they were talking to the karmic about you and the karmic like halted it and was like, nope, like, nope. If you do that, I'm going to show these screenshots or I'm going to, I'm going to take your kids away from you or I'm going to, um, lie to your family about you. Like crazy, crazy crazy toxic controlling energy like straight up like ha they have your personal leash the karmic is literally like holding your person hostage like literally the karmic is holding your person hostage it's crazy like not letting them talk to you like they they just threatened your person your person made a decision like they were following their heart they're like i'm coming back i'm i'm gonna like they were about to message you and the karmic halted that they're like nope like, I'm going to mess your life up if you if you do that. Because they don't want to be, like I said, they don't want to be embarrassed. If you guys have been, you and the karmic have been competing, they don't want that embarrassment. They don't want, you know what I mean? Um, what can you do to resolve this? Spying, doing some digging, maybe. Um, submissive, loyalty, stability, vows. Yeah, I feel like this person is loyal to you. Like their happiness is with you, but it's like they're look at this per karmic Scott, their their claws in this person. Um I mean, if you know what the situation is, like be safe cuz the karmic seems absolutely nuts. But I will say like spying and doing some digging might be helpful like how to like the, your person needs protection. Like your person might literally physically need protection from the karmic. So like finding out what your person, um, I don't know how, if you guys can do some digging and find out what the karmic might have on your person and maybe try to help them through that. Like, let's say that, let's say that, um, you know, they have kids together or something like do, if you guys do spell work, like do like a custody battle, like spell for your person to help them win the custody battle, like dig, do some digging and find out what the issue is. And then. Um, cause I mean, it's going to be different for each one of you. For some of you, it's actually like screenshots, like the per, like they came over to, to the karmic and, um, they have screenshots and they're going to try to send them to you or send them to someone else and have them be taken out of context. Like they might be saying like the person, like your person's like nervous and trying to make the karmic happy. Cause the karmic might be like, look, I'm going to send, you know, your, your, your true love, these screenshots, and I'm going to make it look like we were together when, even though we weren't, you know, like that kind of energy. So like maybe, um, I don't like, I don't, it's, it's, a, it's an intense energy, but dig some, do some digging here is what I'm getting and protect your person any way that you can be safe yourself. Cause like I said, the karmic's very competitive and aggressive and kind of crazy. Um, but it literally feels like the karmic's holding your person hostage. Like they're they're a hostage right now, basically. So if you can somehow find out what the karmic has on them and clear that up and help them through that, then I think like they're choosing you. Like they want you is what I'm getting. If this is your story, your energy group. But you know that the, they whatever they have on them needs to be addressed so that they can be set free of the karmic. So you could do like road opening rituals for your person. You can just um. Like, help them. Like, if there's, like, a way to help them, like, find out, like, if you can find out what they have on them and, like, help them be free of that. Um, do some, like, digging yourself. Like, if you have, like, a pendulum, maybe go over some yes or no questions yourself. Like, kind of meditate on it. Some of you might already know what this energy is, but 
but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's the chaotic energy we have now. Um, I mean, it's getting, it's been about 30 minutes in, so I need to wrap this up. But like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Um, it's, the email is right below in the description box. Any donations are appreciated and please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you're part of this energy group, I'm sorry, I hate to leave you guys like that, but I mean, it, like I said, it, there's, there's different stories here. So I, I mean, there's, there's difference for some of you, it's screenshots for others. It's like a custody battle for others. It's like, they're threatening to like, you know, get them fired at work somehow. Like they have something on them. So like, can you, like, I think you just, I think you guys just need to do some digging and then, um, yeah, we'll see how this story plays out. So I know it's kind of chaotic and up in the air right now. I'm sorry for that, but the energy, I mean, the energy is what it is. That's, you know, the cards don't lie. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.